fucking teenage boys. So, I am sitting at the desk. It's a Monday. Don't know if that counts as work, just being able to like get out here and sit down, but I might count it as work. I'm exhausted. Stayed up way too late, woke up way too early, and I have to film the painting of a piece that I I cannot put on YouTube. <laughs> But um, it's gonna be the February Patreon piece that I am so far behind on. I'm so behind on it. Um, the hope is that I can get it done today. Maybe scan and edit it today if my back is feeling up to it. If not, that's going to be for tomorrow. And then I want to try and get all of the prints and rewards and stickers and everything printed, packed, and shipped by the end of the week at the latest. Um, that way I have just clear schedule for doing work for March without um, being super, super behind. I'll just be a little behind instead. Um, the plan currently is well, I am feeling healthy and good. I am going to do as much art and work as possible. And then I'm going to try and build up kind of like a little like backlog of things that I don't share so that when my health issues do creep up I can just like pull from that backlog and be like look old art that you guys never saw um it's definitely dude there is the tiniest little puppy outside but I don't want to turn the camera around because I don't want to film the person without their permission, but the, he's so little. He is so little. Okay. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, um, backlog, backlog. Um, I just, I, I want to just like keep a stash of artwork and videos and stuff like that that I can put out when I am not having a super great health time. Um, that way there is not the same pressure to produce while I'm sick because it hasn't been going well. So. Um, yeah. All right. Well, uh, I am going to set you up with a, probably an angle at the paint area so you can kind of see it, but I need to find a way to film it without, um, breaking TOS because it's a little spicy. Mmm, oh! they're sticks. Yes, thank you, Terrence. Alright, so see you soon. Please look at just how ridiculous 
this little boulder window has to move everywhere. I had to do this all by hand because the tracker didn't work with the, uh, the pleasantness of this color correcting. Let's do it frame by frame and resize the window the entire time. Oh boy, I never want to do this again. Speaking of the little kitty, he now has his Valentine's Day collar on. Do you want to move so they can see the cute little gemmed heart? Look at that. Look how cute that is. He and his brother both got new ones and we are waiting for Cleo's to come in. And he has washi tape on his tag so I don't have to spot track him anymore. Where are you going? Are you trying to get down the windowsill? You good? Look at that stealthy washi tape. It's holographic. Okay, so um, the fan is going. I should probably turn that off. Hang on. There we go. Professional YouTuber. Um, this is a little palette of some of my handmade watercolors that I was going to sell on Etsy, but I have discovered a problem with them. Um, I'm not entirely sure what caused that in my formula, but this was before before I attempted using honey in my binder. So I am going to rework the binder formula a bit and uh, see if maybe that doesn't give them the elasticity to not dry half a size smaller than the pan. All right, so it is almost the end of March. Um, I was supposed to get things done and taken care of well before now, but um, I had pretty major flare up of my chronic pain and chronic illness and spent the last half of February and the first half of March almost completely bedridden. Um, I'm still kind of recovering. I'm not feeling the greatest. Definitely not feeling the greatest but I'm trying to push through. Um, um, I don't know, it's just, it, it's a lot. <laughs> um, being a content creator is a lot more work than it looks and I'm struggling to kind of keep up with it right now between all of the different platforms I'm supposed to be producing for and Patreon, which is my only source of income right now. Um, and trying to stay consistent. And uh, it's really hard to do when you're disabled. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna try and get January's vlog done today and start on the next one. Um, not really feeling the thought of uh, like drawing today, I guess. Um, definitely, definitely feeling exhausted.
cold. It's rainy. It's windy. Let me turn you around so you can actually see, like... Look at those leaves go. That is the calmest the wind has been today. It's kind of mesmerizing. Well, we will see how today goes and how much I can get done. See you in a bit. Oh my God, he is moving. Look at him go! Alrighty. Um. It's May. <laughs> That's a great start. Um. I meant to vlog all through April, but. Um. I didn't. Uh, oops, I guess. Uh, today, I need to work. One down die. <laughs> um, can't decide if I should be sketching because I have acrylic gouache that is coming in sometime soon. Um, it was supposed to be delivered yesterday, but that was FedEx just being really, really, really overconfident considering that it was being shipped from Pennsylvania and I'm a 13 hour car ride away. So there was no way it was coming in yesterday. Um, I need to get the sketch for it done though, but I also have a new toy to play with. And by toy, I mean work product. Um, wow, they really packed you in tight. Huh? It is called Jesmonite. And I am going to be using this instead of resin and then sealing it with resin on top. Um, in order to make my watercolor palettes, in order to see if this will work as a more eco-friendly version of the watercolor palettes because it sets up way faster and it's jasmineite in acrylic basically. So, or yeah, it's jasmineite, um, gypsum. It's a gypsum product. So I am hoping it's basically like a nice silky concrete, um, but I'm hoping that it will work just as nicely in my mold as the resin does, but it won't have as many issues with bubbles, which means I won't need a vacuum chamber or a pressure pot, which is a little out of my capabilities in this teeny tiny top floor apartment. And also those things are expensive. Um, and I got a bunch of really cute colors to try and work with it. So we will see how it goes. Um, so I've got that on my to-do list. I've got actually making paint on my to-do list and I have sketching out the postcard for last month, unfortunately, because I'm still a bit behind. Um, I made the stickers already, which I'm not going to show you in detail because they're not YouTube appropriate, um, but you can see them on my Twitter because Twitter don't care about the boobies. Um, so, uh, wow, I'm just, I'm so tired today. We had company over yesterday and even though it's somebody I really like, they're a good friend, um, it's just, it, it's very spoon draining 
to be around people, you know what I mean? So I haven't done my makeup today. I didn't put in contacts today because that was too much work. Um, I didn't even put on a titty sling. I'm just working, free balling. Um, you don't need to know that. Why do I tell you guys this? Um, chapstick is a must because I'm on so many medications and like half of them make your lips dry out because they hate us. And then, um, you wanna see how many meds I'm on? I'll show you how many meds I'm on. This is tomorrow's med thing. So you can see I've got three pills hanging out and then a capsule pill. Um, and then I've got one, two, three, four, five that I take at lunchtime and then another three at bedtime. So that's pleasant. However, I did achieve an adultly serotonin because I have, oh my God, there is something in my eye and I cannot get it out. It's probably cat hair. Um, but I have so many things that just like hang out on my desk that I just drop everywhere. So like this is my camera batteries and they just fit in there nice and perfect. And then this, this one, I'm keeping all of my SD cards and like adapters in. And then I haven't figured out what I'm gonna put in this one, but it's probably going to be like little clippies, most likely, um, because I use those all the goddamn time, all the time. Um, so, but that will just, sit in front of my monitor instead of having just a pile of shit right there. So, all right. I guess I should stop talking at the camera and actually like set you guys up somewhere to watch me do some work. So I'll see ya. Okay, so I have paused my copyright music. This is the thumbnail that I did. And then I used that thumbnail, which I did draw with a reference to draw this so that it's more stylized because I'm trying to find a style that's not quite realism but isn't fully cartoon. So I'm going to lighten this up and then this is ready for when I get my acrylic gouache in for me to go ahead and work on. So I will see you guys then. Candle is almost dead. Fuck. Hey guys, uh, it is Sunday, so I am 
trying to get some work done. Um, I did manage to do a sketch the other day. So that, that's my sketch. This is the thumbnail for it. And then that's gonna be the sticker that goes with that print. Both are for Patreon for May. Um, I need to finish the April postcard art today though. So that's gonna be fun. Um, the other thing, let me turn you around so you can see the mess, mess on my desk. Oh, desk. Um, let me flip a doozy you. Okay. So I have been trying out Jespinite for this as an alternative to resin casting. And so far I really like it. Like this looks like really cool and aged. It's a type of like concrete mix basically with gypsum. So my plan is that I'm going to use an acrylic base and kind of like coat this so that it's gonna be waterproof and fill in the little divots where these are so that it's gonna be just like a flat surface and this is gonna be a mixing palette or tray for whoever buys it. And this is very poorly done test piece. Um, you can see how the marbling that I attempted did not come out so well. Um, we'll work on that. And then I tried acrylic like I do for resin and it just stains it really badly. So I would have to coat it first and then fill in the, the letters. Um, we'll see how it goes. We'll, we'll find something to do. I might be able to maybe like paint the letters before I do the pour or something like that because this is what the mold looks like. These are raised. So I might, might be able to figure something out. Um, but... I like it. I think it's cute. So just need to waterproof it before I can put paints into it. But other than that, looking pretty nice. I just have to clean my desk of all of the crumblies from it, which is pretty simple to do. You just take packaging tape and just sticky, 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 sticky all over and it comes right up. And then um, it's bordering on no waste because I am keeping all the nice pieces in this container that I used for a little bit of mixing and we'll be making like mosaics and shit like that at another point in time. So um, should be fine. So I'm going to get working and I will see you guys in a bit.
tired. I just finished the print for April. Um, well, the art for it. I need to scan it and make all of the actual prints and all that fun stuff, but I am exhausted. Uh, it's only three in the afternoon, but I am seriously considering just going and laying down. I like this angle. It really conveys how exhausted I am. <laughs> right, hang on, let me pick you up. I have paint all over me. I don't think I got it on my new shirt. So that's good. That's not quite tall enough for me. Stack jars. Cause that's safe for my camera. Oh, I need to get like a tabletop. Ooh! Tripod, um, a tabletop tripod so that I can like talk at you guys. Um, I should be pulling out the scanner and starting to edit all of the art that I need to make prints of, but I think that I am going to not do that. Oh! Mm. Um. gonna clean up the desk kind of I, I have this new wonderfully metal um, tray for my acrylic gouache and I bought one of those scrapey things so that I can take care of it later but that's that it's not fully dry and I'm lazy so maybe I'll just leave it for later um, I think I'm just gonna leave it for later. I'm giving in. I'm just gonna be tired and done. Yeah. All right, see you guys later.
guys um it's been a little while since i filmed i haven't been feeling well um i got the vaccine uh and it kind of laid me on my ass <laughs> so i'm getting back into the swing of things now um i just designed some new packaging for my stickers i am going to be careful not to pan down too far because these stickers are not exactly youtube appropriate but they will be on my shop, which I hope to open at the end of May. So if you see, I've got a nice little header sticker. And then over here in my binder, or my baggie of stickers, I have these circular ones for closing up packages that don't have a header on them. So I'm going to go grab my food out of my Instant Pot because I just heard it beeping. But before I do, he's got so many little baby bumps now. I'm gonna have to figure out how to trim some of these and see if I can't get roots on them. So, all right, bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 